almost can't even lift it. Killer Clan, welcome back to Giant Foods. It's been a few weeks since we did a Giant Foods episode. There's been a bunch of other stuff. Actually did some traveling, so I'm gonna ask some restaurant challenges for you, which is super, super exciting. Uh, but we're back with Giant Foods, and today we're gonna make a huge shepherd's pie. Shepherd's with an E. Not to be confused with shepherd's with an A, which is how a lot of people spell it, but it's actually shepherd's with an E. So if you look up the recipe, it's an E. But we're gonna go ahead and put this thing together. Five pounds of beef, five pounds of vegetables, mashed potatoes, toppings, deliciousness. Let's go to it. As with all giant food, starting out with some sauteed onions and five pounds of beef. I think every video I do, giant food starts out with five pounds of beef. You should up it to 10? I think I should up it. Probably. Maybe, that's a lot of beef, 10 pounds. Andy Poole, officially sponsored by Redcon One. Yeah, okay. He's a sponsored athlete. <laughs> yeah. Hit me up, red gum. Gotta get that salt, pepper, and garlic action. So I took your advice in the comments and I separated it into two pans. Obviously I get a better cook that way instead of trying to pile it all into one. This is definitely more efficient. But I'm a pro eater, not a pro cooker. Even though my chicken alfredo is often requested. Maybe I'll have to do a giant food series on my chicken alfredo. The sauce alone I made last time had 9,000 calories in it, so it's definitely not for you health conscious nuts. Here's the challenge for the video. How many people can say Worcestershire sauce? <laughs> That's the challenge. I actually just put this in there and I thought, I'm gonna ask if people actually can say Worcestershire or not. I don't know. It seems like aluminum. Specific. A lot of people can't even say that. But I don't know. Comment down below if you can say Worcestershire. Shepherd pie obviously has like peas and carrots and some people add corn to it. So I'm going to add corn because I actually do enjoy some corn. And I got some peas and carrots here. I got three bags of those and I got three bags of this here corn. And uh, I'm going to put this all together. The goal is to put it all together. Put it in this big roaster pan back here. Then I'm going to Warm it in the oven a little bit, with, melt some cheese over the top of it. I've seen some people do that, so it's my variation of a shepherd's pie. Can't really go wrong with cheese. I almost felt like I should add like some bacon strips to the top of it, but we're not gonna stray that far away, but let's check this thing out. And Worcestershire sauce, onions cooking away. We're gonna drain that off, add the flour and the beef stock. Okay, so the recipe I used called for flour and beef stock. So put the flour in and we're gonna beef stock this bad boy. Oh yeah. And you want your concoction to thicken. How much thick do you want it? Maybe a little runnier would make it easier to eat, don't you think? First pot going in. Go in this video is not to burn my face. Oh. Number two. First bag in. I don't like peas and carrots. Thank you. 
Still gotta add the corn. So we get the, some people add corn, some don't. I'm adding it because I like it. I like good baked corn's good too. It's getting pretty heavy already. Mashed potatoes, I uh, left them a little bit runny. I may have goofed up, but I'm not sure. It'll thicken up as it cools. <laughs> Before you kill me in the comment section below, yes, they're instant mashed potatoes because I worked all day and I didn't really feel like peeling potatoes for like an hour. Nonetheless, I'm going to pop this in the oven, let that melt just a little bit, then we're going to get this challenge started. All right, Killer Clan, so I went ahead and let this thing cool down a little bit. It didn't cool down at all because it's 15 pounds solid shepherd's pie there may only be one way to cool this challenge down and that's if i drink some of this water out of the coldestwater.com bottle go over and check them out 21 ounces up to a gallon use my promo code below get yourself a little kickback discount kick me back a little something something i don't know how hot this thing's gonna be i'm sure it's blazing hot but hey it wouldn't be a giant food series without me burning my face off right Let's get into Shepherd's this. Shepherd's pie challenge. I even got some ketchup over here in case I need to break this flavor because that's the first time I've ever made shepherd's pie. I don't know if it's gonna be any good or not, I hope. I know my beef is on point, but the rest, I'm not too sure, because I don't like peas and carrots. If it was just corned beef and cheese. Because this is like a crushed up layer of french fries, right? So, you know the killer don't like french fries. But without further ado, the largest shepherd's pie challenge on YouTube. Three, two, one. Shepherd's pie. Get a little bit of everything here. Look at that. Definitely still hot. Mashed yeah, potatoes set up pretty nice. <clears throat> Temperature of this thing reminds me of the KFC bowl. Freaking hot. really a pie. It's more like a casserole. I couldn't really make a... I guess I could have and then like cut it. I'll break this thing up so it cools down a little bit. There's like hot spots all through. That 
that was hot. A little flavor change around. Comment below if you like ketchup. I mean, who doesn't love ketchup? It's actually helping cool it down a little bit. Sweating like a hog. <clears throat> the beef's good, but I think where I screwed up is the mashed potatoes. <clears throat> I should have taken the time to uh, actually peel potatoes and make them. See what happens when I try to be cheap. Unless you're supposed to serve cold. I don't know. I'm not sure. We're, uh, we're about nine minutes in. I still got a couple pounds here. I didn't even tell you the last time I ate peas and carrots. It's been a long time. <clears throat> Two over the bigger spoon.
<laughs> Sorry guys, I had to stop the video and interrupt because it wasn't really till after the challenge. I felt like it weighed a lot, so I wanted to double check. So I weighed myself before the challenge and then after. And I actually gained 22 pounds. And I didn't really even drink that much water, so this thing ended up being over 20 pounds and I didn't even realize it. Believe it or not, it was over 20 pounds. Next time, I'll definitely get a weight on it. My scale would not weigh it properly. So next time, I will definitely get it on the scale. But that was a 20 pound shepherd pie. It was gigantic. And I was hurting pretty bad after. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ugh. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at the Killer Kennedy. T-shirts, decals are available. Information below. Maybe next time I'll try to do this and not screw it up because I definitely screwed that up. It was more like shepherd's pie soup. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Become part of the Killer Clan Nation. Until next time, tend to your flock, shepherd's pie. Take it easy.